Hi everybody, this is God Sad for the Sad Truth. A common accusation levied uh, against evolutionary psychology is that it is supposedly a form of biological determinism. That term in of itself is a complete canard because, uh, well, for several reasons. One of which is that uh, much of who we are is an interaction of our uh, biological heritage, our genes, and our uh, environments. The genes themselves get turned on or off as a function of environmental stimuli. Uh, natural selection operates within an environment. So evolutionary theory by its very definition recognizes the importance of the environment in all sorts of uh, contexts. Uh, furthermore though, uh, the idea that evolutionary psychology is a form of biological determinism is utter nonsense because behavioral plasticity or more generally adaptability is itself an adaptation. And so take for example the human uh, immune system. The human immune system has evolved to be adaptable to various possible threats. Suppose that the immune system had only evolved to deal with uh, let's call them pathogens uh, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, in other words, it had zero degrees of freedom. Well, we know that pathogens, viruses, and bacteria uh, mutate very quickly. And so you could very quickly go from pathogen 1 to pathogen 1 prime. And then if your immune system is incapable of being flexible, of adjusting, uh, then none of us would be here to either produce this YouTube clip or to listen to it. We would all be long dead. So inherently, the immune system has degrees of freedom built into it precisely because it recognizes that it can't have solely evolved to solve uh, threats A, B, C, right? By the exact same logic, humans are endowed as an adaptation. They are endowed with behavioral plasticity. This is exactly why the field of behavioral ecology exists. What behavioral ecologists study are things like, you know, why is it that culture A uh, uses more spices in its culinary traditions than culture B? In other words, what might be the adaptive response that arises in different local niches? Now, in this case, it's something that I've discussed in a previous uh, Sad Truth clip. Uh, different cultures have varying levels of uh, pathogens. Warmer climates uh, have greater pathogens, and therefore we would expect that spicier foods uh, would be more likely to, to, to exist as part of the culinary traditions in warmer climates. This is part of what's called the antimicrobial hypothesis. But more generally, behavioral ecologists, uh, these are the scientists who are part and parcel of evolutionary behavioral sciences, recognize that humans are endowed with the behavioral plasticity that allows them to respond differentially depending on the environment that they're in. So the whole notion of biological determinism is whenever somebody levies that, they are effectively announcing to the world that they know nothing about biology in general and about evolutionary theory in particular. There is no such thing as biological determinism and certainly when it applies to any serious evolutionary scientists. There you go, folks. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends about it. Contribute to my channel via Patreon if you can. Have a great weekend. I will be off in Southern California next week uh, doing various appearances. Uh, look forward to seeing you back here probably the end of next week. Talk to you soon. Ciao.